Hello Year 7, it's your maths teacher here, Mr Gush. Hope you guys are doing well. I know you guys have been really busy doing the distance learning. I thought I'd make a quick video in, to help you with your maths homework. Uh, so we're going to start with week 4 homework, which is the fractions homework. Uh, the reason I'm starting week 4, I've noticed there was quite a few errors and misconceptions with the questions, so I thought I'd address those one by one. Right, just before we start, can you make sure you've got a pen and piece of paper or pencil uh, access to your math watch that doesn't need to be straight away but you need to have access to a computer to be able to input the information in afterwards and more importantly a positive mindset now we all know fractions is traditionally a tricky topic to master but hopefully after this video we should have a better understanding right just a quick reminder on your mass watch login so if you google mass watch um, you'd log in so if your name was Lionel Messi your password, sorry, your username would be hhs 19 messi l at Hartsill. And that's not .co.uk or .com, it's just at Hartsill. And your password would be Hartsill as well. Right, uh, another thing I'm gonna into, embed into this video is quick knowledge organizer questions. Now these will be quick fire questions that will just pop up every now and again. Okay, so let's just do one for an example. Okay, so what are the first five multiples of three? Okay, the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15. Just remember multiples is just a posh word for your times tables. So basically what I've asked you is for your times, three times table. Okay, the first question. Now, the first question is about adding uh, fractions with the same denominator. So I'm going to do an example. So you could write this on your piece of paper and then answer the question afterwards if you want. So 4 over 7 plus 2 over 7. Now, as you can see, the denominators are the same. So we don't have to do anything to denominators. So it would be... 7 and then 4 add 2 is 6 so the answer is 6 over 7. Example 2. Now if we notice on this one there's a takeaway symbol. So if we could just make one up now. 9 over 10 take away 6 over 10 so the denominator stays the same and nine take away six is three so your answer is three over ten now you should be able to answer these questions right quick fire question what are the first five multiples of four what are the first five multiples of four Okay, so it's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Remember, this means uh, times tables. Right, okay, let's have a look. So on this question, the denominators aren't the same. So it's a little bit trickier than before. But what we need to do, we need to make these denominators the same. So for example, so example 3, if we had 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6, as you can see, the denominators are different. So what we need to do, we need to find a number which 3 and 6 both go into, or the lowest common multiple for 3 and 6. And I know the lowest common multiple for 3 and 6 is actually 6. So this one will stay the same because we want the denominator to be a 6. Now to make the 3 into a 6 we times it by 2. Okay, can you see? Times it by 2. So we need to times the top value, the numerator, by 2 as well. So that would be 4 over 6. If we add them together you get 5 over 6 and that's the answer 
Example four. Now we're going to use that same question, the same fraction, sorry, and we're going to just change it to two thirds take away one six. So we also we already know what two thirds is going to be. It's going to be four over six, and this time we're taking away one six. So four take away one, which is three, three over six. Right, we've got three over six. What can we simplify that down to? That's right, it's a half. And that's your answer. Okay, example five. Right, if you notice on this question, again, we've got two different denominators. So if I was going to do an example for this one, let's say a half plus a fifth. We need to find the lowest common multiple for two and five. So the lowest common multiple for two and five is actually 10. So the first thing we need to do is a 10 there and a 10 there. What do you times two by to get 10? You times it by five. So you times the top one by five. So five tenths. Now if you look at it, if you look at five tenths, if you've got five out of ten in the test, can you see it's exactly the same as getting a half? It's exactly the same. Right. Five times two gives you ten. So we times the top one by two. That's two. Add them together because they're the same denominator. We can do this now. And the answer will be seven over ten. Now when you look at this question, the takeaway question, exactly the same as example four. Um, you f get the common denominator, make sure they're, equi they're equivalent, and then you take away the numerators. What is the remainder when 13 is divided by five? What is the remainder when 13 is divided by five? Remainder's three. So if we did 13 divided by 5, 5, 10, and the remainder will be 3. And if you're used to the bus stop method, 5 into 13 is 2, remainder 3. Okay, so if I wanted to convert an improper fraction, an improper fraction would be... 13 over 5, we'll just use that knowledge organiser question. So how many 5s go into 13? Well, the answer was 2. So 2 holes, and we have 3 left over. So that will be example 6. So this is your top heavy fraction, because the numerator is larger than the denominator, and to convert it into a mixed fraction, you do 13 divided by 5, which gives you 2, and this is your remainder. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Uh, you can pause the screen, have a go, and we'll go through that. Okay, go. Right, okay, so the first one, so how many twos go into five, which is going to be two. And the remainder is one. Okay, so this is your remainder. Your next one, how many threes go into eight? Again, it's two. Now, what you'll notice is the denominators always stay the same, and your remainder is two. Again, we know the denominators are going to stay the same, so I'm going to quickly put them in. How many sixes go into 11? One, and the remainder is five. How many fours go into 18? Well, 4, 8, 12, 16. That's 4. And the remainder is 2. Okay, hold on. 2 over 4. Well, that's the same as a half. So your answer would be 4.5. Okay, now we're going to go from... Sorry, now we're going to go from mixed fraction back to improper. Okay? So, I'm guessing example seven. 
So if we have three and a half, okay, I'm just going to quickly sketch this out for you so you can see. So So we've got three holes, and we have a half. Remember the denominator stays the same. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So converting that mixed fraction of three and a half into a top heavy fraction would be seven over two. Now the quick way to do this is if you just times these two together, so three times two, and then you add the numerator, and that will give you seven, so seven over two, okay? Just do one more example on that. Example eight. So four and two thirds. Now we know the denominator will stay the same. Four times three is 12, plus the two, 14. Okay, right, what I'd like you to do now is to have a go at these next set of questions. Can you convert these back into proper? If you need to pause the screen, you can do. Okay. Right, okay, so uh, three over three and a half, so that would be three times two. Remember the denominator stays the same. Three times two is six. Add the one, seven, Again, denominator stays the same. Four times three is 12, plus the one is 13. Again, denominator stays the same, denominator stays the same. Four times five is 20, plus the two, 22. Three times six, 18, plus the five, 23. Okay, brilliant. Right, let's move on to, back to the mass watch questions. Right, here we go. This is when it gets a little bit trickier. Okay, so example nine. So two and a half take away one and a fifth. Okay, the first thing you could do with these, okay, now this is what I always do. I will take away the whole numbers if possible. So two take away one will be one so just put it up here two take away one is one so this question is exactly the same as one and a half take away a fifth okay right so to take these away there's two ways we could do this i'm just going to show you one way so what we're going to do we're going to make this top heavy so to make this top heavy it'll be one times two which is two plus the one which is three over two take away a fifth right the next step is we need to make these denominators the same okay so three over two take away one over five to make the denominators the same well we know the lowest common multiple is 10 because it's very similar to what we did before two times five gives you 10 so we have to times the top one by five take away five times two gives you 10 so times the top one by two so it'll be 15 over 10 take away two over 10 which will give you 13 over 10 right that's an improper fraction if you want to make that into a top sorry a mixed number how many tens go into 13 one and the remainder is three over 10 and that's your answer Okay, uh, this one here, again, what you do is add these together, four, add the one, put, them, put that to one side, so that'll be five, work out what two thirds plus three quarters is, and then add it on. Right, your next question, very similar, you just take it away. So the first one here, this is quite a tricky one, because it's going to... Um, go into your whole number, it's going to use a bit of that whole number. So let's do an example based on that. Example 10, so let's say two and a quarter, take away four over five, 
Okay, the first thing you need to do is make it top heavy. There's no holes on this one. So let's, if that did have a one there, we'd go two takeaway one, and then we'd have a one and a quarter takeaway four fifths. But because it has a, we're not going to do anything to it. We're not going to manipulate the whole numbers. Okay, so this will be nine over four, takeaway four over five. Right, so we need to find a common denominator. Common denominator is 20. Okay, what do you times five by to get 20? You times it by four. So you times the top one by four, so that'll be 16. Times by five gives you 20. So we need to times the top one by five, so 45. Take them away. So 45, take away 16. Will give you 29 over 20. If we want to make that into a mixed number, it'll be 1 9 twentieths. Okay, and that's it. So, what I'd like you to do now, guys, have a go at these questions on your piece of paper. There's also more questions on the Mass Watch, but you should be able to tackle most of them now.